got big breasts or maybe they're just not as perky as they used to be if you're not happy with the size shape or position of your breasts you may be considering breast reduction or breast lift surgery but what's the difference between the two no more confusion as we are here to help you out with it so without further delay let's get started did you know that 73% of visitors are more likely to make their purchases soon after watching a product video? This makes it necessary to have a product demonstration or promo video for showcasing your product's potential values and benefits. At Product Video Studio, we are equipped with camera gear, tools and most importantly expertise to make your video captivating and engaging. Just send your products and we'll handle the rest. Contact us today to create something amazing together. Are you familiar with the term liposuction? Well, it's related to breast reduction. Breast reduction primarily employs liposuction to remove excess fat, resulting in a more proportionate and balanced bust line. Conversely, breast lift focuses on lifting and tightening the breast tissue, removing excess skin and repositioning the nipple to achieve a more youthful appearance. So, breast lifting is actually more focused on reshaping the breast. Now that you know what breast reduction and breast lifting are, let's explore their key differences. First things first, the size. While both procedures relate to breast size, they address different tissues. If you find yourself burdened by overly large breasts that cause discomfort, neck pain, or back aches, breast reduction is your go-to solution. On the other hand, if you are more concerned about sagging breasts that have lost your youthful perkiness, a breast lift will work wonders to elevate and reshape your bosom. Breast reduction and lift surgery can be life-changing, but they do require incisions. So what can you expect? Breast reduction typically requires larger incisions than breast lift surgery. The most common incision pattern is anchor incision, which resembles an inverted T. It starts around the areola and extends down the crease underneath the breast. Other common incision patterns include the vertical incision and the periareolar incision. In contrast, breast lift surgery involves a variety of incision patterns depending on the degree of sagging and the desired outcome. The most common incision patterns are the periareolar incision, the vertical incision, and the anchor incision. Now, you might be wondering which one leaves more visible scars. Well, to be honest, breast reduction leaves more visible scars. That's because breast reduction involves removing excess breast tissue, which requires larger incisions. Breast lifting, on the other hand, focuses on repositioning breast tissue and skin, so the incisions are typically smaller and less visible. But don't worry, breast lift surgeons have some tricks up their sleeves to minimize scarring. They often hide incisions around the areola or along the natural creases of the breast. And with proper care, most breast lift scars fade significantly over time. Another concerning fact is the nipple sensation. Breast reduction and breast lift have different effects on the nipple. Both surgeries may cause temporary or permanent nipple sensation. With breast reduction, there is a possibility of decreased sensitivity due to the removal of excess breast tissue. However, breast lift procedures typically preserve nipple sensation as a focus lies on reshaping and repositioning the breast rather than reducing its size. If your breasts are too big for your body, they can cause you a lot of discomfort and pain. Breast reduction surgery can help you get rid of these problems and boost your self-confidence at the same time. A breast lift, on the other hand, is more suitable for women who have saggy and droopy breasts due to aging, weight loss, or pregnancy. A breast lift can make the breasts look more youthful and attractive by raising and reshaping them. Let's not forget about the recovery period, as that is also a concern when choosing between these two. Breast reduction and breast lift are two different surgeries with different recovery times and complications. 
Breast reduction is a more complex and invasive surgery, so it takes longer to heal and recover and may have more complications. Breast lift is a less invasive surgery, so it has a shorter recovery time and fewer complications. If you are planning to have children in the future and want to breastfeed, it's essential to consider the impact of breast surgery. For instance, breast reduction surgery may affect milk production as it involves the removal of glandular tissue. However, breast lift may not affect milk production, but it may change the position and shape of the nipple and areola, making it harder for the baby to suck on. At last, won't it be a winning deal if an insurance company covers it for you? In some cases, health insurance may cover breast reduction if it is deemed medically necessary. For example, to relieve physical symptoms like back pain, shoulder pain, or skin irritation caused by excessively large breasts. Conversely, breast lift is generally considered a cosmetic procedure and is not typically covered by health insurance. So, as a patient, you have to cover the full cost of it. Finally, the choice between breast reduction and breast lift depends on your breast condition. Breast reduction is for women who want to make their breasts smaller and lighter. Meanwhile, breast lift is for women who want to make their breasts firmer and higher. No matter which one you choose to do, make sure to consult with a plastic surgeon first. And if you know any other effective way to reshape the breast, don't forget to share your valuable opinion with us. Till then, stay healthy and confident!